Today, I'm cooking a simple and delicious Cantonese yimi for lunch. This recipe is for one to two servings. The ingredients needed are one portion of dry yimi, 110 grams of pork belly, cut into thin slices. I am using pork belly with a bit of fat for more flavor. 50 ml of water, 1 egg, 5 pieces of medium-sized prawns, wash and clean, 400 ml of clear chicken stock or water, 80 grams of bok choy with the stem and the leaf separated, 45 grams of cut carrots, quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoon of crispy fried garlic, three tablespoon of garlic oil, one and a half tablespoon of tapioca flour, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of light soya sauce, quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, and quarter teaspoon of pepper. The full list of the ingredients are in the Seymour link. Sprinkle one over eight teaspoon of salt on the prawns, Marinate until well combined. Add half tablespoon of light soy sauce to the pork belly and marinate. Next, put the tapioca flour in the bigger mixing bowl. Add 50 ml of water. Mix until the flour has dissolved in the water. Leave it aside. Heat the pan. Add in 1 tablespoon of garlic oil and wait for 20 seconds for the oil to get hot. Add in the prawns and fry it for 40 seconds or until the bottom of the prawn change color to orange. Flip to cook the other side for about 30 seconds or until the whole prawns changes color to orange. Remove all the prawns from the pan and leave it aside. In the same pan, with a little hot oil, add in one more tablespoon of garlic oil and pork belly. Spread it around the pan. Add in the cut carrot. Stir fry for about one minute to caramelize the pork belly. Cover the pan and continue to cook for two more minutes. To ensure the pork belly is well cooked, stir in between occasionally to prevent burning. While waiting for pork belly to cook, soak the yimi. Put yimi in the bowl and pour hot boiling water until it is submerged. The yimi must be submerged in the hot water. Cover and allow it to soak for 1 minute. The pork belly is now cooked and the carrot are slightly soft after 2 minutes. Add in all the chicken stock, sesame oil, half tablespoon of light soy sauce, pepper, oyster sauce, and all the bok choy stems. Stir and mix until well combined. Cover the pan and cook for 8 minutes. After 1 minute, let's check on the yimi. It is soft and perfect. Strain off the water. Toss a little to remove the excess water that is stuck on the yimi and leave it aside. After 8 minutes, the soup is boiling vigorously. The pork belly is cooked and the vegetables are soft. Give it a taste. Oh wow, very delicious. At this stage, more seasoning can be added as preferred. But for this, it is already delicious. Add in the bok choy leaves. Give it a stir. The bok choy leaves cook really fast and soften in the hot soup very quickly. Add tapioca flour mixture, the egg. Give it a quick stir to break the eggs and thicken the gravy. See, the gravy is now thick and looks really yummy. Switch off the heat. Now assemble the noodles. Put the yimi on the serving plate. Garnish with crispy fried garlic. Pour the gravy on the top. Arrange the prawns. Garnish with crispy fried garlic. And we are done. Simple and delicious Cantonese fried yimi. Let's eat! Wow, very tasty and flavorful. The yimi is soft and well soaked with a delicious egg gravy. So good. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.